So after uh, two CDs with the symphonic works of Paul de Malengo and one CD consecrated to the uh, organ works of Rob Peters, we are here at Antwerp Cathedral again for a next co-production of our concert organization in Aeolus. And this time the focus is on the organ works of Key Whites. He was born in uh, the Liège area in 1883. Uh, very soon uh, everybody saw he was very talented. He went to the Liège Conservatory where in a very short period he gained all the first prizes for organ improvisation. So he was awarded a scholarship to go to Paris. He chose for the Scola Cantorum to study organ with Alexandre Guimont and uh, composition with Vincent Dandy. He also got in contact with Charles Marie Vidor and in fact, when Charles Marie Vidor was invited uh, to Liège to conduct his third symphony for organ and orchestra, it was uh, Guy White playing the organ part. But then in August 1914, we had the German invasion, and White decided just in time with his wife and his two sons to uh, go to London. There, of course, he was absolutely unknown, but the sister of the Belgian king, the Duchesse de Vendôme, she uh, knew uh, that uh, White was an important musician, and she arranged for him to uh, play benefit concerts, so the, the British public quickly uh, remarked the talent of Key White. He got the occasion to play in the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, consequently, he was nominated organist uh, in 1917 in the Jesuit uh, church in Farm Street, a post he held for uh, his whole life. So the career of White started quite impressive and yet his work is largely unknown. And I must say it's not because of the work, because his, for instance his first symphony, it's one of the nicest pieces I have uh, ever heard in this, uh, in this genre. If you hear the first pieces of Key Whites, it's so clear that he was so much influenced by the music of César Franck. There are uh, this chromatism in his music that is so uh, make you so thinking of, of Louis Vierne. So one of the interesting aspects of the music of Key Whites is that it started in this very clear uh, French Romantic idiom, but he absorbed other influences. He, he got to know the large British organs with their strong reeds. So you see a whole evolution. He didn't publish so much, so we, we had, did have some room for four for, for or five more other pieces here in this recording. And we felt that the music of Joseph Schongen was a very natural complement to the music of Key Whites. They were from the same region, 
uh, the age difference between the two is only 10 years and they had the same uh, influence from, from French Romantic school. the recording uh, we opted for uh, one of the most famous works of, of John Gen, his uh, Toccata uh, Opus 104 and here is a small link with Antwerp because the first performance outside Brussels of this work was by Alex Papen who was before the titular organist of this magnificent instrument. For additional information and ordering this new album, you are invited to visit our website at eolus-music.com.